Hi, my name is Tonda Carrenti, and I'm with La Femme de Fromage in Orlando, Florida. Today, I'm going to be pairing the 2015 Maker's Reserve from Tillamook. It is just an outstanding, creamy, surprisingly creamy cheddar. For something so old and aged and complex, you get so much cream still out of it, and it really is fantastic. The crystallization that you see on the outside as well as that you taste on the inside is just mind blowing. Um, what I really love about this cheddar, really just get so much out of this. Um, it's got a, a, I mean, just a gorgeous nuttiness, but you get like so much, so many like tannins, tannins maybe that come from flavors of like black tea. Um, and I'm a really big fan of cheese and chocolate. I love the way that the salty and the sweet work together. Um, you're playing the salty and the sweet. You've got some creamy goodness in the middle that also kind of mixes with the chocolate. It just really is a perfect bite. Gideon's Bakehouse, and they make the most ridiculous cookies you've ever seen. This is their triple chocolate cherry um, sea salt cayenne pepper. Um, there's uh, an ancho chili in there as well, as, as well as cinnamon. So you get like a really nice heat to it, but this intense sweetness. So then we also have uh, another partnership. I work with Peter Brook, a uh, chocolatier out of Winter Park. This is their dark chocolate espresso bar. And then one of the other things that we brought here from Peter Brook is their milk chocolate turtle. Pieces. You also have some nuts in there. There's toasted pecans. Um, so the pecan really kind of brings about that fattiness as well, too, that also works very well with the cheddar. I've gone with is a Bordeaux blend. Um, this is a local wine from some of my friends and partners over at Quantum Leap Winery. Um, this is actually a Washington State blend, um, and this is called the Kaylee's Rescue Red. This is their 2018 vintage of Kaylee's Rescue Red, um, and it's a Bordeaux blend. It's pretty heavy on the Cab Franc. Um, and it is fantastic. And it's just a wonderful way to kind of come together with such a big cheese. Um, this, this wine lets the cheese stand up. And I don't want a wine that's gonna blow over any of my cheeses. Moving on, I also have uh, some more savory components. When we're talking about fat and how the cheese really needs the fat, um, I'm going with a duck liver pate from Hinkley's Meat. We have a truffle mustard that I import from uh, France and just throwing that together with this cheese is an amazing bite. Throw that in your mouth and oh my gosh, it's outstanding. The other pairing that I have, which is also very fun, also supporting my local neighborhood here is from the Ivanhoe Brewing Company. And this is Tupac Chaporter, which is obviously very fun. <laughs> and a really cool, delicious, malty, awesome porter. We do Grilled Cheese Happy Hour here every single weekend. And this is a fantastic, lovely grilled cheese that we just created. So we used a uh, fresh baked sourdough bread from downstairs in our market. We have Hinkley's Meats Bacon. He's got a smoky bacon that he makes um, and we've used that of course, we've got the Tillamook Maker's Reserve 2015 cheddar in here for that sharp complexity. And then we did a pear chutney uh, with a little bit of cinnamon and some sugar, and we've got some fresh basil topped on. I'm Tonda Carrenti from La Femme de Fromage in Orlando, Florida, and I have had a blast, and I really hope you've enjoyed my board, and I hope you have a fantastic National Cheddar Day.